So how we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here back in seven days to die the dummies guide and yes it is day number seven which is not good news for us because that means the horde is going to come and try and kick our ass and we're going to hopefully prevent that so there's no time to waste today the trader trader Jen just over there does restock though and we have a quest to hand back in so that's four o'clock last night i thought right let's put a door on here let's dig up some stone but i totally forgot underneath here is the bunker that is concrete there so unfortunately for us that is not something i could do so i had to just nerd pole back out of there and it was a bit too risky to come out here because i could hear zombies running about right let's get straight onto the bike and straight over to the what is going to be known as our hall base so let's get cracking right so here we are this is the radio tower and this is where i'm planning on holding the fort tonight let's get rid of chelsea over here there we go thank you very much we've got no time to waste today just see if we can get ourselves some honey we're gonna need a lot of wood today we're gonna need a lot of cobblestone as well there we go, and one honey, so if we do get infected, we're going to be alright. I'm not going to worry about these chain link fences at all. Um, I'm just going to leave them there. In fact, I might even shut the door, which means that they'll all come in just trying to break these down and take their time anyway. That car will explode as they're trying to probably beat on it and things like that. Again, I'm not really going to worry about that. Uh we're going to do with this door i think if we take this door out and block it up it's probably going to be our best bet so if we just block that up right uh i did bring a hammer there we go so we can upgrade things a little bit faster now with the to go back to cobblestone cobblestone is one for one so it's very cheap and it can be quite strong as well you've got flagstone blocks which you make from cobblestone and that takes four bits of cobblestone to make one of those yeah so to upgrade this flagstone block costs you 10 cobblestone so in total to have this upgraded to the next stronger piece costs you 14 cobblestones in total so what i like to do that's cost us four wood and the frame eight wood to upgrade it and then if we upgrade that that's the next stronger part of the cobblestone it only takes 10 so that's only cost us 20 rather than cost us 14 yes it's cost us a little bit of wood but wood is very simple and very easy to get to so that's what i prefer to do now okay we're okay for wood we're gonna need to make some more frames though now i've been trying to rack my brain over the last week while we've been doing this to try and think of a a newer or slightly different design to what I've done quite a lot in the past and the problem is with Alpha 18 and Alpha 19 there hasn't been a big change in the pathing of the zombies normally there's usually quite a big significant change so we then kind of design bases that work best for us to use during the way the the pathing of the zombies but because they haven't really changed it at all i don't see any reason to change what we've been doing so i'm going to show you this because it is meant to be a guide uh, to we're probably gonna to have to get rid of that car maybe even some of this fence yeah so we're gonna have a quick look at this design here which i've used quite a number of times before but the main reason for it is it's very effective and it works so let's get this car gone at least we'll get the parts for it lovely jubbly right so we've got rid of that we're going to want to come out two for hatches 
one two for that and this will probably be our first one Matches, and then be the stairs from this one here so we come on so from here I'm gonna make a staircase I mean down now I have actually made a full tutorial on actually how I made a base very similar to this and how it can be upgraded so if you don't know what I just did then I kept my finger on E and from here you've got some different options and if you go on shape you can change the shape that you want so I've just clicked on stairs so I'm going to want the stairs there can I reach that one there yeah beautiful let's get rid of this fence that's going to be in the way which is going to be this bit here so basically what I'm going to be using the tower for is literally just a platform to stand on oh stamina these tools do really kick us they do really hurt us right come on and change that back to normal work you down uh, and you down and you down right change the shape again we are probably going to need a bit more of this fence out of the way and there we go so now we have a pathway or the zombies have a pathway should I say up to us up here and we've got a nice concrete solid building here move these out of the way there we go beautiful now what I am gonna do is change these two for hatches so if things go really bad I can pick up these hatches or close the, open these hatches and there won't be a route to us so we need to change that to on face. Think that one's right. That one right. Yep, perfect. And now well, we want to do exactly the same, but facing the other way. Oh, there you go. It looks like we've got a wandering horn now. If I put these hatches here he's going straight for the tower are they just going to walk up here and find a route to us now, this is all wood at the moment so guys this was not the idea as you can see they're coming straight to us because of this fence here he's just hitting on whatever he can find now we might need to bail here this might not go too much to plan because we haven't got much stamina and that wasn't loaded please tell me this one's loaded no that wasn't loaded ah i repaired both of these overnight big mama where are you going I got the double. Uh, missed with the power shot. Right, we're going to have to just bail from here. So they've actually knocked out one of our steps. Come on down, guys. If you want to knock out this fence for us, I'd be much obliged. No, they, they're trying to knock this out because they're seeing it as an easier route. He's getting stuck on the barbed wire. Right, let him come on over. Let's reload our guns. Or poor excuses for guns. Remember that, if you ever put a modifier into your guns, or anything like that, you need to reload them afterwards. We've got a rabbit over there. Nurse Nancy. Right. 
There we go. So as you can see straight away, that didn't kill you. Oi! That certainly did. Right, what did I do with my frames? There we go. We need to put another staircase into here, thanks to these idiots. Oh. Bloody barbed wire. Right, there we go. Let's got the barbed wire out of the way. So as you could see, straight away there was a route to us up here. Now, what I'm going to do is build another couple of hatches. And put them. You just left click, you can change the orientation of things. Um, probably there... Yeah, there and there. So we've now got a barrier between us and them. Now these are obviously not very strong, but we can upgrade these. There we go, that's used all the iron we've got. The next thing we need to do is make an iron hatch to upgrade these to iron. Iron's pretty strong. That's 300, and when we upgrade it, I think it goes to 1,000. So to make those iron hatches, we need just some scrap iron. We don't have enough of it at the moment. We are going to go and dig some of that up very shortly. Right, so now we've got a barrier between us and the zombies coming up there. Now, they can jump over this, which is the next issue. So, we're going to need something to stop them. Uh, still getting used to these new buttons since they've expanded the tool belt. Right. So what we're going to do is upgrade this. Hopefully have time to turn this all into cobblestone. Right, now I'm going to build this out a little bit further. Why take it to... Oh, we need to get rid of this fence. It's going to really start driving me mad. Right, beautiful. Let's get rid of that. Stamina is really starting to cause us an issue. So we need to now build this up to probably a little look. Ooh. About this height. Yeah, that's going to be right because that only leaves one block there. That means it gives us a nice little practice range here. But knocking the zombies straight in the head, which is really good. Now, the only one downside to this base, using the hatches, or some people use this as a solid block, is trying to get to the dogs and the spider zombies, because their heads clip through the actual barrier. So, what I might do is extend this tunnel further back, and actually use well hello and actually use the second one here and we'll see what we're doing for time right that's a basic start nine o'clock in the morning right we need storage chest let's craft ourselves one of those quickly perfect let's leave that up here just for putting stuff in that we're going to need that's probably floating yeah because they're half blocks here as always. So from taking apart a bit of that fence, we can actually build our first hatch. Which is very nice. There we go. So if we go over to here and right click to upgrade this one. There we go. It's upgraded to that now. Yeah, and it's got a thousand hit points. Upgrade that. And we're now out of iron. How many hit points have we got now? 
Well, it's still a thousand, but it comes down in stages. That's right. So that's going to help us a lot more. Right. Let's get to the trader, hand our quest back in, see if she, she restocked today, so she might have some more cobblestone for sale, which would really help us out. And um, we're going to go and dig some iron at the same time to sort ourselves out. So here we go then, back at the trader. Let's just quickly see if they've got any... Ah, oh, they've got the skull crushers, and this is actually very useful. Because this will put our melee damage up for five minutes. Unfortunately, they've only got one, but that will help us tonight when we're trying to bust some skulls so 100 dukes prices in the wasteland well, stuff jen didn't take long nice no work. it didn't right we have to take the 20 molotovs so i've already taken some molotovs over there so it looks like we're going to be using plenty of these tonight hopefully i don't set myself on fire right you've actually got some fetches nice and close so we're going to take that for tomorrow i got jobs for some thanks son the coal factory, that's actually pretty good. Right, you've restocked today. We're not going to be doing any quests today. We need cobblestone. Got cement for sale. I've actually got 50 paper for sale. We're going to be buying that. Door hammer. Buy the gunpowder, as it's cheap at the moment. Now, this is the question. Do we buy ourselves... A gun because we already have that I'm gonna buy instantly because that means you guys will actually be able to see what I'm doing now that is gonna basically wipe us out but it means we're actually gonna have a gun yeah I think we gotta do it there we go we've still got 1500 left Alrighty okay then. stay safe out there Thank you, Jen. That's one of the reasons why I like doing lots of quests early doors. So you can get yourself up a bit of money and sort yourself out. Right, I'm just going to quickly nip back to the house, empty out my inventory, grab all the ammo that we have for this gun, and then dig up some iron at our normal spot. Start making that into a little bit of a mine. Right, so there's the aeroplane. Now, where's he dropped his supplies? We missed the last one. Now, I haven't put... Um, airdrops on it is an option you can turn on it's actually very useful but on the default settings it is actually turned off now i personally thought we had more 762 than we did we've actually only got 60 rounds it's a shame we actually picked up the molotovs maybe i should have looked at that first and we could have picked ourselves up 200 is that oh that's the coal silly me we need to go to the iron which is just over here and i'm going to dig a load of this up right here we go guys that was hard work but we've made it back here and i've got myself some more iron now to make the other hatch and we have 483 spare scrap iron now hopefully that is going to be enough so let's do this up Right, there we go. So that's the top layer of iron. That breaks down three times, so essentially that is 3,000 hit points now. And it will just cost us a little bit of iron to repair that as the zombies are beating on it now. That's left us, yeah, plenty. Absolutely plenty. Right. So we've got the gun now, which is very nice. Uh, we've got loads of molotovs for tonight. I'm going to wear the scrap boots because they're going to be stronger than what we have. We've got the coffee so we can hit harder. I wonder if we can get that guy's attention down there. Let's just reload him. I did... Oh, I've already got him loaded. I honestly thought we had more... More spare 762. Come on over. I'm not going to waste my blunderbuss ammo on him. So now we should be all right because we do have 60, 86 rounds for the 7.62. And we've got 50 blunderbuss rounds. And we can make a little bit more now. We've got a bit more paper. So let's show you how this should work. So we put these two up here. This one's a good indicator of how close you can get normally. You're this one. Normally they can't hit you. There you go. See? 
So they're going to start trying to beat on it, try and get to us, because they can see this as a path. And we just come up, knock him in the noggin. Hopefully he'll get back up again, as he's not dead. But if we were to close these down, he wouldn't be able to see a path to us. So if things get really bad, there we go. If things get really bad, we can close these two and stay up here. But then they will just start beating on the building and try and knock that down. Because zombies have turned into structural engineers. And they'll just try and knock down any building you're on. So he's done 24 damage. And that's cost us one piece of iron to get back up to full strength. So... That's not bad going. How are we doing for wood? Yeah, we're doing fine. So let's carry on building this shelter. So one thing I am really struggling for today, though, is food. And we don't have anything made back up. And I have already checked the trader. And they didn't have anything for sale there, which is, um, which is rather annoying. Now, I'm going to leave this area here. So if they fall down, they can then make their way back out to here. I'm going to take a bit more of that chain link fence out. But, um, oh, I've put my helmet light mod on as well. So there we go. So that's really going to help us. That literally, again, just come into here, modify it, and it just goes on as a mod. So that is really useful. Let's get this upgraded. That's what happens when you don't take into your structural integrity properly. I thought I was okay with that, but I forgot I hadn't taken those blocks all the way down to the floor. So we've just lost all of that. And it's 4.30, so we're going to have to start digging fast. Let's get some coffee and start rebuilding. Else we're going to have ourselves all kinds of issues. So there's the thunder. It started coming in the day seven. Number seven has turned red. What a mistake. I think on wood frames, in wood frames and cobblestone, you can only hand out ten blocks for the structural integrity. I'll have to double check that, but you've got to be careful when you start adding more blocks. Oh, we're really struggling with stamina. We've run out of wood. All right, let's go and get ourselves another coffee. I was hoping, I was literally thinking, right, okay, we'll do this little bit here, then go and get some food from somewhere, raid into a quick house again. And now we're going to struggle with that because it's already 7 o'clock. The birds have started tweeting. Which is going to be a little bit of an issue for us. We need to make a back way of getting into here as well. How much wood have we got left on us? 22, right. Let's see how much of this we can do. So I've got this going to the... Going to the floor as well just to make sure... Now this doesn't need to be very strong. We don't need to upgrade this any more than this. We do need to put some wood bars. No. Uh, frames I need. One, two, three, four. Right. Should do us. There, there, there. And because that's going all the way to the floor, that'll be more than strong enough. So I've made the front of this nice and strong, which the zombies are going to be hitting on. But the rest of this is going to be fine. Now, we might get vultures come and attack us, which is why I'm enclosing all of this so the vultures can't actually get to us. And we need a bit more wood. Get to another tree. Really do with some decent food. I was hoping the trader was going to be selling us a, a decent dish of some kind, but like a meat stew or something like that, but she had nothing at all for sale. Yes, we got this bit upgraded, so that's the most important part. Right, there we go. Uh, one, two, three. We need three sets of uh, wooden bars. Don't want the centre ones, we want these ones here.
and we just want to advance rotation there we go three sets of those in fact we're going to make one more just for now but there we can get in here fine and these we can shoot for as well they're not as strong as iron bars but they will do the job for tonight those are fully upgraded now for the cobblestone now upgrading blocks is a really good way of getting xp the higher you upgrade them the more xp you'll get so we've actually got two skill points to spend for tonight we'll have a look at it in a minute so i'm just going to carry on upgrading this i'll see you just before we start the horde Right then, we have next to no time now until the Horde Knights come. I tell you what, our long days is no joke whatsoever. So we need our claw hammer for upgrading, say upgrading, repairing the iron bars, the iron hatches, sorry, and the wooden bars above us. We've got our bug shot, we've got our ammo, we've got our trusty baseball bat, now, if you catch yourself on fire, which you can do during the game. Just move the jukes out of the way for the second. And um, if you catch yourself on fire, you need to take a drink to put yourself out. I'm going to put the health items on us. Honey, in case we get infected, we've got the painkillers. We've got the repair kits if we need to repair any of this stuff. And that is us about ready to go. The only thing is our stamina is very low. Because we have no food. Have I got any coffee left? Yeah, two coffees. Coffee will help. But they only last for three minutes. So this lasts for five minutes. But one bonus about hour long days is that the Horde Knight is going to be a little bit shorter than I'm used to. So that's going to be good. Those are the bags down here. Those blue ones there, if we dig those up, we get cobblestone. But we've actually managed to do okay for cobblestone. So we used just about 700 cobblestone in total today. But let's get ready for this horde. Here they come. So we need to be down here so they see this as the path. Oh, that's nice. Out of stamina already. Right, let's take a coffee. Let's take a skull crusher. Here we go. Our stamina, come on, let's load this blunderbuss. We need to repair that hatch in a second. Here we go. Big Mama. One thing I am going to do. There we go, that's back up to full health. I'm going to put another point into Sexy Saurus because we've now got three skill points. I'll try and save the 762 if I can. Try and get rid of the normal zombies. Hopefully, a bit easier. Right, Edgar, you're a bit stronger. There we go. But hopefully tonight we keep it to more basic zombies. Well, I'm hoping. There we go. Fully upgraded again. Hopefully we have enough iron for all of this, because if not, we're in trouble. We certainly had enough iron before, but I've had to remake and re-upgrade the hatches because of our little mishap. even normal left clicking 
is doing enough work to these zombies while we've got the skull crushers on. Three minutes left of those. Look at that, beautiful. Right, some... There we go, beautiful. Now you can see that it's actually set light to this bit here, so you've got to be really careful now and not go into it. Normally I'd wait till there were more zombies there. Have a look, are they causing... Yes, yeah, so they're causing issues there. They're trying to knock through the fencing. But all that does is give us a bit of time to go into here, go into strength. We haven't made the cigar yet, so we need to go one into there, one into this, which will help us reduce stamina. And we've got one left, and we're going to pummel Pete. This is all to do with the bats. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. So, oh, oh, here they come. Get that loaded. Right, it looks like there's a few of them there. Now, this never used to be a thing with the Molotovs. It used to set them alight. There you go, got too close. Straight away, set myself alight. It has killed them all. Look, over 2,000 XP we got for that. They've made it a lot stronger, but the problem is you can't attack. You can't get too close to re-attack them, which is the only downside to this base. But if you've got dogs, spiders, on these things that you're struggling to get at, it's well worth using them. Them and the grenades. We don't have any grenades. Oh, look at this. All just left clicking. Oh. Beautiful. So, this is definitely going to be a longer video, guys. Big mama. Alright, here we go. Another skill point. It's going to make a big, big difference for going on to day 14. So last time I did this guide in Alpha 18, we continued it on. So I'm planning on doing the same again because you'll see how things can progress, how things can change. And um, this base, I have got a tutorial video on how I kind of made this hall base. That seems very quiet. Is that the end of it? Sometimes on day seven. Your earlier whores. There is somebody over there who's got caught up. That could actually be the end of the horde. I know you're hungry, mate. Right, let's quickly check the loot here. Also, oh, more blunderbuss ammo. We're actually going to scrap that. Don't need a level 2 blunderbuss. Another one here. Scrap you for the iron. We'll take the rest of you. We've got lots of shotgun shells. Oh, we got another one here. Ah. There we go. A wrench schematic. More 762. And some water. Now, this guy over here. I see Loza. Oh. You two haven't worked out that you can just run around. Right, well, they can run a lot faster than we can. But there we go. That is it, guys. So, we had some issues, but on the whole, it wasn't too bad. How have we done for iron? Still got 107 iron left, so we're more than fine. We had, I brought some spare iron pipes. Upgrade our blunderbuss if we, or repair it. I never even got round to putting these scrap boots on. 
I'm going to leave the Molotovs here ready for next week's Horde Night. I believe, in fact, I'm actually going to leave the first aid kits here as well, and some iron. And the rest can come with us. So guys, that's it. That's where I'm going to leave it. One thing to note, if I was to log out of the game now, at quarter to one, and log back in, the Horde Knight would respawn. So we'd do have to do all of that all over again. So you've got to wait till 4 a.m. in the morning and then log out then. As you might have noticed, Horde Night, everything gets a lot darker than it normally does. So guys, as always, big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. Any comments, put them down below. If you want to go and check out the other video, I'll put a link in the description to see how that base can be slowly upgraded. And... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys at day number eight. Take it easy. See you later.